Hello guys! In this lesson, we will focus on how to create a system modeling with a transfer function and state space representation. Okay? Because in the previous lesson, we, show, we talked about uh, how to create a system dynamic modeling by using this equation of motion system of distance, such as the electrical one, or mechanical rules, or heat rules, or fluid rules. And so, this uh, gives us the general mathematical notation of this form of system dynamic equation, okay? And so, in order to create a mechatronics design, and so we should utilize the system dynamics, and so we should condition this system dynamics equation in general math form. And then, and the transfer function, and state space is a method to use uh, these things okay transfer function and state space representation are the methods to create a system dynamic modeling in especially the mathematical forms okay and so, in the first place, we should talk about the transfer function. Transfer function can be considered by the time period to frequency domain. Okay? And so, if we have the any kind of system in linear approach, this is the basic condition in here, we have the input variable in here, the us and the output variable xs <coughs> can be modeled by using transfer function method this is based on the laplace equation or laplace transform because in laplace transformation xs is equal to minus 1 plus 1 the xd can be conditioned by this kind of formulation exponential over minus s times t okay s is equal to general root of this kind of system the frequency component and the real component and so we can use it in order to transfer them to any system from the time domain into the frequency one the main advantage of the using of the transfer function method we can <coughs> gain or <coughs> we can scale the any system in the perspectives of the transfer function method to without by using the time domain and so if we take the any system dynamics modeling like gs as the transfer function methods and so we obtain the time independent response of this kind of system And so this is the main advantage of these things and so we can condition the system to track or to behave like what we are doing in the system which we call the reference signal positioning okay and so if we have the system like this one like the standard mc key equation or x dot is equal to ax plus bu and then we can take the transfer function of these things as such xs equal to axs plus bus and so we can create a transfer function related to the plant in this position and so if you take this variable to this one and then the xs plus sa must be equal to bus and so the general gs method can be described by in this position and so b divided by s minus a these are general notation of the how to we behave this system under the any input variable and then we can predict the final value of this system response or initial value of this system or we can obtain the 
time response characteristics of this system with the independent of the time okay and so we should check this the root of this system and then we can say that the system is stable or not or the system can be controlled or not okay these are the first approach to <coughs> create a system dynamics modeling okay and in another perspective if we have the system with many variables like this one and so the state space representation in here state space representation can be used <coughs> to model the any system dynamics modeling but which circumstances circumstances are happening in this system and so the general notation x dot is equal to a x plus b u and so x is a vector in this notation like the x can be considered by the x1 x2 x3 dot 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 x and can be used in this vector notation and so if we try to create a transfer function modeling in this diagram we have the n kind of transfer function modeling and so these are difficult to model or to deduce the whole the characteristics of system and so by using the state space presentation we can check this is system dynamic equation by using the any mathematical rules in this position and so we can control this system is stable or not is stable or not or we can control this system is controllable or not okay or we can deduce or we can determine the full characteristics of this system with the n state variable and so the state space presentation is used to any system dynamics equation into the first order dynamics because the if we have a first order dynamics and then we can apply the any mathematical rules in the system modeling approach or otherwise in the system dynamics approach okay and so if we have the simple system and then we can use the transfer function method but if we have a many variable in our system and then we can use the state space representation of these things because by using these things it gives us the first order dynamics of these things but <coughs> main conclusion can be given by in this system that if all dynamics can be represented in in one form of mathematical equation equations such as the transfer function or the state space representation modeling then we could drive the system anywhere or desire point which we determine okay this is our in study of this lesson we can call it to control theory or control theory okay if we have a system in the form of transfer function or state space presentation and then we can control this system by using this input variable which we are giving the outside from these things okay and so if we select the proper input variable and then we can drive or we can track the any desired point okay this is the r control theory application in mechatronics okay and so 
In summarize, we have the transfer function and state space representation modeling techniques in order to create a common form of the mathematical equation without using the time independent modeling techniques. Okay, and so if we have these things and then we can drive the system by using some specific rules which we call it in included in the control theory okay and so in order to create or in order to design a mechatronic system design and so firstly we should create a equation of motion related to the uh, which whatever the electrical one or the uh, heat one or the mechanical one and then we should convert the whole the things into the transfer function method and state space representation and then if we are using the control theory and so we can track the any desired point by using or by selecting this u variable input variable okay and so <coughs> in the next session uh, we will discuss about how to we select this and so we will discuss about the type of this input variable selection method okay